freezing down here. Goodness. Should I fix my hair? Oh, I don't guess it matters. Okay, today I will be giving my thoughts and opinions on, I think, what is it? Three, four, one, two, four of Murphy's favorite series. She's been wanting me to just sit down and give my just thoughts on these. Um, this is the my seventh time trying to do this video. I can't get it right. Here's hoping eighth time's a charm because I'm not doing it again. All right, first series I'm going to give my thoughts on. Um, let me let me get it. How does she do this? Mistborn. So this was the first series she got me to read, and. I liked it, although, let me see what my notes say here. Um, I'm gonna give you a couple of pros and a couple of cons. Um, my first pro with the series is that I thought Straff Venture was an excellent protagonist. Um, I really, I really liked his just kind of, you know, take charge attitude. Um, it's kind of what I want to see in a main character, so I like that. A con is I would like to have seen more from Vin uh, throughout the series as a whole. I, I think Sanderson could have really taken his time to flesh out that character specifically. It would have made the experience better. The other negative was that the magic system wasn't very well explained. You're kind of just thrown into it and you just kind of have to figure out what the characters are doing with drinking of the the potions and whatnot. So I would have liked a little more explanation from book to book as we progress through the magic system. Uh, you know, just I just it would have been better with some a little more detail. Overall, though, um, I think book one probably was my favorite. Uh, in the Mistborn series, or the is a trilogy. The other two uh, kind of kind of t trail off uh, and there's not as much not as much action going on so but overall it was a fun read overall so number two the second series uh, does she even she has it on her shelf okay let me get it so I'm not going they're all back there I'm not gonna hold up every single book in the series because it's a massive series um, so Game of Thrones I've never watched, like I've never watched the TV series. Um, years ago when it was on, everybody was obsessing about it. I never really felt the need to get into it. But I did read the series and here are my thoughts. So this is my first foray into the world of Stephen King. I've never really read any other of his works before. And so this is kind of my introduction. I love the spankings. That was interesting was happy to see that throughout the series. The world of Roshar, just in general, was very interesting to me. And I loved kind of just studying like the maps in the front of the books. I love studying the world and just kind of seeing, you know, what was happening in the series, kind of line up with where it was happening, you know, within the world of Roshar. So that was kind of neat. Uh, a downside is that there are way too many characters for me to try to keep track of. Uh, especially throughout the series, you know, there's so many books. Uh, pretty decent. Might watch the TV series, go back, watch that, see if I like it. All right, so uh, the third series that I'm going to review for you guys, that's one of her favorites. Let me get them. All right, third series, The Lies of Locke Lamora. So, or I guess it's called The Gentleman Bastard Series. Um, let me see what my notes here. Okay, so that was the first. First thing, just overall, I I don't really get what the big deal is. I'm, I don't get it, okay? So I know that she is obsessed with this series, um, obsessed with the character work and whatever. And I also know that there are people she recommends this to that are just like, you know, they don't really love it on the same level she does. I'm probably in that camp. The first, let's see, here. The first book is okay. Like, it was probably my favorite of the three. Fast-paced, pretty witty dialogue. The character work was pretty good. Um, the second book, however, I just... Okay, like, we completely changed. Like, it goes from 
you know, what was established in the first book to a completely different plot. Uh, the characters, like you're following a different set of characters. And I just kind of wanted to stick with the first book as far as like a continuation of that story. Um, so that was probably my least favorite of the three. And then the third book was, was okay. It was okay. It was not, it was just very, very slow, kind of political. Um, it honestly, it kind of felt like the first two books were interesting enough, even though the second book just completely deviates from the first one. But the third book was like, he didn't really have anything to like a story to write, but he had to put out a third book. So he just kind of came up with something. That's how it came across to me. I could be wrong. I could be missing something in the overall, you know, arc. Okay, the last series we're gonna talk about is Lord of the Rings, written by C.S. Lewis, I believe. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't really have the time to read all three books, so I just binged the movies instead. Um, I didn't mess with The Hobbit. I just went straight to, you know, the, the Lord of the Rings. Fun! I, I would say out of all these, it was probably my favorite uh, to experience. I think my favorite character was probably Legolas. He's pretty... he's attractive. So there you go. Uh, take 8 went better than I anticipated. Uh, finally got this thing nailed down. I don't know. I mean, so those were my my opinions on her favorite series and what I thought of them. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about my my opinions. Of the, you know, which ones, which which series was your favorite out of all these? And uh, maybe we'll make this a yearly tradition. I'll sit down, read some of her favorite series from the year, kind of give you my opinions on them. All right. Well, thanks to the uh, patrons. I guess she has those still. And um, that's it. Really should get some heat down here. Oh, it feels good. <laughs>